Hello, once again, Anthony here. So I will be taking you through the understanding about task seven and task eight in self speaking questions. So as we begin our today's understanding, we are talking in terms of speaking task where we are going to express our opinion. Whether it's going to be yes or no, whatever we pick should make a lot of meaning in the way we are going to respond to the task. We get 30 seconds to look at the topic and understand them because the speaking question, opinion question, the examiner will be telling us about something in many ways. And we need to be using them to be ensuring that organizing our ideas, our thoughts, our explanation has proper paraphrasing, phrasing of sentences, grammatically correct sentences and keeping the verb tenses accurate. So when we are expressing opinion in task seven, first and foremost, we need to identify and understand the key strategies about how we deal with such things. Reading the instructions followed by questions play a pivotal role where we will be using them in a most important and logical method of responding to them. So generating ideas accordingly with three major reasons for our opinion will always give us the best opportunity to deliver them. As we proceed with an understanding of what the task is all about, we need to first mention or understand that whom are we talking to. Secondly, we need to be responding in accordance to the subject or the topic, what it is given to us for. In some areas, we may also come across situations where some of the preferences of arranging our ideas, using some great vocabularies to express our opinion plays an automatically a great opportunity to score. So please respond in a formal language and also with right way of expressing the opinion according to the verb tenses. The most important thing that we need to organize the response in such a way where it can be divided into four different parts. Whether you have two ideas or three ideas, it should purely depend on how you introduce and conclude them within the 90 seconds that we are given with. The main ideas that we select in those points that we are about to experience, the understanding plus responding to them with our ideas and justifying them. When we do this, by looking at an example here, we will be able to respond accordingly when it says, in most of the Western world today, a certain level of homelessness is inevitable regardless of how much of their budget governments allocate to it. I'm far from convinced that the problem is a financial one. And so I would not want to see any of the money that governments spend on the space exploration diverted to deal with homelessness issues. So, when we talk about verbs, something that comes like this, budget governments allocate to, convinced. Then we look into something like uh, space exploration diverted to deal with. So some phrases that connect with the problems in financial categories as for the task given to us. Think about what you would say in your own words and using your words to attract the attention of the subject given in the expressing the opinion. The first main idea when we are going to talk about them, we need to introduce and after introducing, we would give our main idea stating like this. A great deal of progress has come out with the efforts of to explore space. These, uh, these include many of our technological advances, much of our knowledge, and a great deal of our current access to global communication channels. Being able to fly across the world in a matter of hours, call home to let our loved ones know you've arrived safely and read up on your destination history online. In all part of that progress, so when we are using our main ideas, our focus was here about how this exploration of space helped in the technological advancements and how it can be used by giving instances. 
The second idea will be focusing on the way it has been described in the first point and how it is going to continue. The speed of the society's advances would be severely hampered if money was diverted from space exploration to homelessness. Not only would progress to slow, be slowed, but it's unlikely that diversions would solve the bulk of homeless problems. Hence, people, when we are looking at expressing our opinion, we need to have a variety of opinions. Among them, pick the top two or three of them while you're responding and concluding in, in this manner with what the context is demanding us from. So I think governments should continue with their current funding priorities as it is done. So the final take that we look at should have all these three incorporated within that 90 seconds. So when we talk about the screen, how it looks like, this is how you would be able to experience the screen, the 30 seconds of preparation time in the drop down area where we have the audio dialog box plus the recording sec seconds that would also be shown after the first 30 seconds is consumed. So please understand when we talk about task seven, we are talking about our opinion. Now moving on to task eight is about the unusual situation we are going to describe and be a part of it. So some of the describing an unusual situation who needs to be spoken to the third person whom you are talking about and the preparation time here is 30 seconds 60 seconds for you to record them focus on the things that was given to you on the task and if you think there is some accurate information in terms of vocabularies in terms of phrases that you are phrasing unique picture options will guide you through them you will be given a picture you will be looking at the picture and you will be talking about some unusual situations that will erupt in your thinking process. As we look into some of the unusual picture here, we would try to analyze and understand what is coming up next. So by looking at them, the wild boars are on the streets while a car is stuck on the streets. So as we look into such situations, we need to deal with them in an appropriate manner using and organizing our vocabularies, phrases, sentences, and grammar sentences. So when we plan in the outline, it should have an introduction, description, followed by conclusion within that 60 seconds that we are going to respond. So looking at this picture here, which seems to be an unusual situation for some of them, and when we are answering them, let us respond with something like this. You've been asked to check a low cost or some of the questions that it would appear like this. The lost find found kind of an activity of a red jacket. So in the lost and found area, you would found three jackets and you need to take it further from there on. And as we proceed, we will start something responding like this. Hi, Jane, I understood you forgot your red coat when you were visiting our offices and the other day. It's getting pretty cold out, so I'm sure you would like to have it back. I have three red coats here in the lost and found. Let me describe them to you, and then you can tell me if any one of them sounds like yours. So when we introduce ourselves like this, and moving ahead with the further description, we need to understand that our approach of description should be given immediately after the description or introducing the main purpose as we talk about the first one the second one and the third one how am i describing them according to the three jackets that i found the first one is quite a warm one because it's made of heavy material it's medium length coat with a zip from the bottom to the top it has a hood and a fur trim as well as pockets the second one is more of a lightweight, short leather jacket. It have also has a zipper, but it does not have any type of hood or even pockets. The third one, a medium length coat is most formal of the three because it has a collar, six black buttons and pockets, but it does not seem to particularly have any warmth in it. On completion of this, think about the conclusion, how well you can give them. Because your conclusion should give an instinct to the other person whom you are talking to, should give 
and reunite with their courts. So when you talk about them, please remember practice in this fashion and you will be making yourself perfect in this category. So as we have come to the end of speaking communicative skills and description of all the eight parts in the speaking. So we will begin with our writing when we begin the writing tasks. So perfect practice makes you perfect. Start your practices. Don't wait for anything else or anybody because that's how you're going to crack your exam. Thank you very much for viewing this video and have a wonderful learning.